Hey guys, JC Size, thumbnail tutorial. So, first thing you want to do is find a picture on Google, in this case Battlefield 3. Save it to your computer. Then you want to go to www.pickmonkey.com. Uh, pick without the K, like the picture. Um, sorry about the pixelation and everything, but I'll talk you through it so it won't matter as much. Um, once you've found the picture you need, you want to click on edit a photo and find the picture and put it on. Just click it and it'll automatically load it there in the middle. Now you then you'll be presented with a screen, so you want to go through them all if you need to. Um, exposure being the first one, brightness, highlights, shadows. And then you've got your next one, your colours, which is your saturation and your temperature. But I don't normally change them. And then you've got your sharpen, which allows you to sharpen your. image and if you heard that I was actually fighting jet going past funny um yeah your sharpness and your clarity now I don't normally do it all the way sharp because it just doesn't look right but I do it a little bit just to pick up the lines a little bit more around the edge of the picture um yeah I don't normally do the clarity much either and then you can resize it if you want um you d skip the next few things that's Overlays, which I never used, never never used it before, never tried it. Um, the next one down is borders. Um, if you see that little crown underneath, it means that's a pro feature, which means you need to buy the full thing to use it. But that doesn't affect me. These are textures that I, normally I use the light trails or water. Um, click on the model or pop up as a little preview of what it will look like. As you can see, it changes in the picture. There's loads of different ones. There's six there for the water, but there's loads of different effects that you can use as long as they don't have a crown under. Unless you buy the full thing, that is. And now for the, these are the water effects that I like. So you just try them all, see which one looks the best on the photo. Now, I quite like that raindrop one best, so I'll just look at the rest. Yeah, I'll put that one on. So I'll put that one on, and then you want to click apply. Um, now, I think it'll look, the light trails always, I always use them because it just makes the picture look, I think it makes it look better actually. Um, and then you can change the saturation of it. Um, and the br the fadeness of it, so if it's very clear that it's there, if it's faded off a little bit, so I'm going to fade it off a tiny little bit, um, just so it doesn't dominate the whole picture. That'll do. You can still tell it's there, it just doesn't get rid of the original colours. And then, these are just the themes, I don't really use them either. They come with some fonts, but other than that, I just use the normal fonts. Now, um, P is for text. I don't really use any of the features except the very top one and the bo two bottom ones. Um, P except P as well. P is text. Uh, you choose from a huge range of fonts. I'm just going to use a simple one for this video. You can download fonts off the internet, 3D fonts, anything. Um, and then you type what you want it to be called. So I'm just going to put Battlefield 3. I'll probably end up using this thumbnail in a later video anyway, so it's a good job I've done this. Choose your colour, I normally always use red, and put it on bold as well, makes it look bigger. Um, you want to set it out correctly, however you want the words, and once you've done, uh, put it in the place that you want it to be in. In my case, it is at the bottom. Um, it's very pixelated, but it won't be at the end, it's because it's whatever I'm using pixelated it. But then at the top, you want to click that button, second in from the right. Uh, and it'll merge everything together once you've finished it, so you can't move the text around anymore. Click save, and it'll ask you to save it. Um, you want to click the one on the, there's three to click from, the one on the far right is the highest quality, middle quality, low quality. As long as it's under two megabytes, that's fine, because that's the size for a thumbnail. Uh, that'll save to your computer, and that's pretty much it, masterpiece save. So, here's the before and the after. They both look good anyway, I just like adding effects to it. And this is what it looks like when I put it on a video. 
Obviously, it won't be as much pitch like as that, but thanks for watching, guys.